Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you had a great weekend. And welcome to this new video on the render token and the RDR, which is technically the name of the crypto, of course. Uh, wanted to do a full technical update on that. We got some. Uh, we got some nice support. It's one of the biggest, uh, one of the top gainers in uh, in the top 100 right right now. Even though we did not gain that much, but still. We got a nice touch. Um, I can say something about the price. I think something valuable. Uh, so that's why I wanted to cover it. Apart from that, it's also been requested quite a bit. So um, yeah, we'll mostly focus on the technicals. There are not a lot of fundamentals to talk about. I mean, you should know uh, that for crypto, generally this week is pretty important with the inflation rate coming later this week. But all right, there's not a, not a lot I can talk about right now. Just know that if Bitcoin goes up a lot or if Bitcoin drops down a lot, render will follow. Um, but all right, before we get into render specifically, uh, if you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments, and there you find instructions on how to join that group. But you can also find out results if you're interested in that as well. Uh, all right, but now on to, uh, on, on to render. So what you can see, if we zoom in, is first of all, the market structure right now, I would say is, is very consolidating. Um, I would say we're just consolidating between 1.23 and 1.2, 1.22, and then at the top 1.38. We did not, we we have not touched that levels that much. But if you take a look at the ADX, uh, which is kind of an, an indicator of of trend and and strength of trend, um, you can see that that's been below 20, which is kind of my threshold since the uh, 6th of April. But um, before that, we also were kind of um, going above and below and, and below that. So what we did do is, well, uh, we went to our main support level around 1.25, 1.22. As I said, arguably that bottom of the uh, of the consolidation, which was now also supported by, strand, by the strand line, um, which I think was enough to actually provide us with some support there. Uh, but apart from that, we also got some bullish momentum from the market at exactly that time yesterday. Um, so that was enough right now. The, the big question <clears throat> I think is, can we actually get up to our, our top at around 1.36, 1.38? Um, and I think that depends largely on the level we are at right now. As you can see with these blue lines, we are now arguably at um, the most important level right now, uh, which is kind of between 1.3 and 1.29. I would say that if we are able to stay on top of that, for the next two or three candles that we will also continue going up towards 1.37 and 1.38. All right, I do not think we can break above that, but I do think we can get up there if we, I mean, the, the main idea behind it is, is that if we can actually stay on top of that level for two or three more candles, that also probably means that there's enough bullish momentum um, uh, to, to, to push up the entire market a bit, um, because then we, we haven't had any major drops, right? Um, so if we can stay on top of that, I think there's there's enough bullish momentum in the market and that bullish momentum for render, I think, can easily push us up to 1.38 and 1.37. There's not a lot of resistance there. You could argue that we found resistance right here at 1.32, but that really isn't a very strong resistance level. And we barely found resistance there that we did not get above to 1.36 and 1.38 afterwards. Um, so it's really going to depend. I mean, on the other hand, if Bitcoin right now, in the end, we have found major resistance at 28,500. If Bitcoin starts falling and Render gives up that level, well, yeah, then we'll just drop down lower than 1.25. We'll drop down to 1.22. I do think we will hold that, but that's uh, obviously more bearish than, uh, <laughs> than just holding it. Uh, but yeah, that's my full analysis, my take on Render for today. If you do have any questions, then of course, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.